After WandaVision, there are now three versions of Paul Bettany's Vision that have existed in the MCU. My wife had a flying saucers. My husband and his indestructible head. Well, Here's how they're different from each other. After WandaVision, there have now been three incarnations of the Vision in the MCU, each played by Paul Bettany. In both the comics and the MCU, Vision is a major player in stories related to the Avengers. During the 1960s and 1970s, Vision was arguably the team's most important member, as he even served as the face of the group and was a constant on the roster across numerous lineup changes. In the comic books, Vision is a snythezoid created by Ultron from the android body of the original Human Torch and the brain patterns of the superhero Wonder Man. After turning on his creator, Vision became a mainstay of the team and developed a romantic relationship with his mutant teammate, Scarlet Witch. The android Avenger was brought to life on the big screen for the first time in 2014's Avengers, Age of Ultron. He returned for key roles in Captain America, Civil War and Avengers, Infinity War, where he met an unfortunate end. The first TV show to be made by Marvel Studios, WandaVision, brought the iconic Avenger back to the MCU for a story that made his return a nine-episode mystery. This was fully explained in the final minutes of the second-to-last episode. You think I care? Plus, WandaVision introduced a new take on the hero that was inspired by his role in the West Coast Avengers comic from the 1980s. In total, three versions of Vision have existed in the MCU, and each has key differences from the others. Here's what's important to know about all three Visions in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Have a little chat. We'll see about that promotion, huh? Yes, sir! Thank you, sir! Original Vision, the Vision that appeared in Age of Ultron, Civil War, and Infinity War has an origin story that differs a bit from the one that the comics gave him, but the essence of who he is as a character isn't far off. Though he wasn't made from two existing superheroes like his comic counterpart, the MCU's Vision shares with him the concept of a hero born from the combination of multiple elements. Vision was constructed with Vibranium by Ultron, who sought to make an indestructible body for himself. He also implanted the Mind Stone into Vision's head, which would grant him superpowers once activated. His plan didn't work out the way he intended, though, as the body was seized by Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr., and the Avengers. Believing that Vision could be the key to taking down Ultron, Tony Stark decided to bring the Snythezoid online by uploading his AI, Jarvis, into his systems. Captain America, Chris Evans, arrived and tried to stop Iron Man from implementing his Vision plan, but Thor, Chris Hemsworth, settled the matter by shooting lightning through the device that held the Synthezoid's body. As a result, Vision was born in a moment mimicking Frankenstein's monster being hit with the spark of life. Vision was indeed a remarkable being who possessed the ability to think, feel, and even lift Mjolnir, Thor's hammer, itself, whether it be because he was considered worthy of its power or for some other reason. Either way, he was treated like an equal by the Avengers, who eventually welcomed him onto the team. Take everything from me. You set the terms, you can change them. All right. Vision remained with them until he became a casualty of Thanos' hunt for the Infinity Stones in Infinity War. Since he wasn't killed by the snap, he remained dead, while most of the dead heroes were revived in Avengers Endgame. Fake Westview Vision At the beginning of WandaVision, Wanda was seen living a happy and blissful life in the suburbs with Vision, but it quickly became clear that not all was as it seemed. After all, audiences knew that Vision had died in Infinity War. For this reason, it was presumed that, though Vision seemed to have all the powers and personality traits of the character from his previous MCU appearances, he was created by Wanda's reality warping abilities. This was confirmed to be the case in WandaVision Episode 8, which used flashbacks to explain where Wanda's powers actually came from and how she created her fake world in Westview. The show revealed that in her grief, she subconsciously manifested Vision out of thin air, rather than stealing his corpse from sword like Hayward, Josh Stamberg, had falsely accused her of doing. That explains why Vision was unable to leave the hex that surrounded Westview. Since this Vision was never real beyond the hex, he couldn't exist outside Scarlet Witch's magical fantasy. In the season finale, Wanda further explained what this Vision actually is. Lie to me! Yes. Oh. 
of this is for us. According to her, he comes from the power of the Mind Stone. A piece of it remained within her when her abilities were awakened. Now that the Hex has fallen apart, the constructed vision has disappeared for good. So long, darling. White Vision, the third version of the character, is the White Vision, who was made from the original's body. After acquiring his corpse, Sard tried to bring him back to life, but had no luck with it until Scarlet Witch shot down one of their drones. It's yours? The residual chaos magic on the drone was then used by sword scientists to reactivate vision. What separates him from what he was before is that he only follows his programming and not his conscience. He has no memories yet and so he's like a factory reset phone or new computer. An explanation for that can be found in his comic origin. In West Coast Avengers, White Vision was built by Hank Pym after the original was dismantled by the government. Free of the rot, is that the ship of Theseus? The fundamental difference between the two is that he lacks the capacity for emotions, meaning that he bears no love for his wife, Scarlet Witch. The change was reflected by his colorless appearance. The blame for this can be laid at the feet of Wonder Man, who refused to let his brain patterns be copied again. It was his brain patterns that gave Vision a human personality. Without them, he was just a highly functioning AI in a Snythezoid body. In the MCU, the equivalent of Wonder Man's brain patterns is the Mind Stone, so it makes sense that without it, he can't have the emotions of the original hero. This was discussed during the conversation between the two visions, with Westview's version pointing out that neither of them could be the true vision. I am vision. Ultimately, White Vision had his memories of his past restored by Westview Vision, who wanted to grant Wanda and his original self one last gift before being unmade. Since White Vision flew away and didn't return after having his memories restored, there are lingering questions about who he will be now. Having his memories back doesn't necessarily mean the original Vision is back, considering that he still doesn't have the Mind Stone. It could be that he'll be similar to the White Vision from the comics as a force for good in the world, but still not the person that Wanda loved, or at least, not yet. I am Vision.